Hello, my name is Brandon Judson, and I'm a member of Textron Aviation Customer Service Engineering Team Structures. On occasion, customer service is asked to assist with helping technicians in the field recover a Citation 750 that has been windblown, taxied, crashed, or suffered a gear-up landing resulting in the aircraft being temporarily incapacitated. Emergency lifting is a procedure designed to lift the aircraft from an abnormal position while minimizing any further damage to the airframe. It is to be noted that all circumstances and conditions vary depending on the specific incident, but these general rules may be applied for lifting and slinging the aircraft. This video is to be used as reference material only and is not to be used as a substitute for reading and understanding any information presented in the most current published maintenance manuals. The maintenance manual briefly discusses lifting, shoring, and emergency lifting in Chapter 7. The attitude and condition of the airplane, along with the terrain and location of the airplane, dictate the emergency equipment and procedures for recovering a disabled airplane. Local airport procedures and emergency equipment availability are governing factors for the type of emergency action to be taken. The preferred method of emergency lifting is to utilize pneumatic bags. Though this is the preferred method, in some cases where the landing gear or aircraft is too damaged in an abnormal situation or where pneumatic bags are not available, it may be necessary to lift the aircraft using cranes in conjunction with spreader bars and straps. The method of emergency lifting used should be the method which is available or will be less damaging to the aircraft. This video will focus primarily on lifting the Citation 10 using cranes, spreader bars, and straps in order to place the aircraft in a position to set it on the jacks, on the gear, or on a dolly or other transport vehicle. Warning: Failure to observe applicable safety precautions can result in injury to personnel and or damage to the aircraft. If airbags are not available or conditions limit the use of airbags, lift the aircraft as follows. First, defuel the aircraft and remove as much loose baggage and equipment as practical to reduce the weight of the aircraft. A suitable crane or cranes with lifting straps may be used as follows. Obtain nylon lifting straps rated to hold a weight of at least 10,000 pounds or higher. Position the forward strap at the forward pressure bulkhead. This location is the preferred location. It is also acceptable to position the forward strap at either the forward or the aft frame of the main cabin door. If either of the main cabin door frame locations are utilized, take special care in the placement and retention of the sling so as to not damage the forward belly fairing. It is also permissible to locate the lifting strap at fuselage station 142.00 to mitigate interference with the belly fairing. Remove the cowlings to gain access to the forward engine mounts. The aft straps can be secured around the upper bolt isolator of the forward engine mounts and should be separated by a spreader bar if at all possible. When the forward and aft slings are in location, it is preferred a fuselage sling assembly be utilized if possible. If a fuselage sling assembly is not available, Lifting can still be accomplished without the fuselage sling assembly, but should be accomplished using multiple cranes. Attach stabilization ropes to the wingtips, tail, and nose section of the airplane. Lift the aircraft slowly and evenly while utilizing the stabilization ropes. Two cranes may be utilized if a sling assembly cannot be used to separate the forward and aft straps. Make sure that the load on the straps is vertical and not pulling forward or aft on the strap which could cause the straps to move on the aircraft. Once the aircraft is lifted, if conditions are applicable, secure the aircraft on the landing gear or on jacks. Reference Chapter 32 in the Maintenance Manual for details. If the gear cannot support the aircraft, lower the aircraft onto a suitable transportation vehicle. Old tires or other soft materials should be placed between the aircraft and the vehicle to limit further damage to the airframe. Remove spreader bars, slings, and other lifting equipment. Transport aircraft as smoothly as possible to prevent additional damage. Please note, the methods of emergency lifting described in this video do not necessarily limit emergency procedures. Approved alternate methods may be used when emergency conditions warrant such action. For assistance and support regarding this subject, please contact Team Structures 
at 316-517-6061. I hope you find this video helpful. Thank you for your time.